As I said, my name is Alvin D. Owens. I stand and will kneel for nine minutes in honor of George Floyd and so many who were murdered due to, due to systemic racism. All lives matter when black lives matter. An excerpt from one of our outstanding um, education youth college tour students and my god niece Alexandria Cannon. This is from a mouth of a babe. She says, all I see down my timeline is how people don't support Black Lives Matter no more because of people rioting and looting. Don't give us a reason not to support a cause based on how other people support a cause. Riding, looting, protesting ain't the same thing. Looting is when you steal, riding is when you cause havoc, and protesting is when you march or petition or something peaceful for a cause. Please stop grouping all of these together. Not everyone who supports Black Lives Matter are looters or causing harm. If you don't want to support Black Lives Matter, then don't. But do you really want to be on the wrong side of history? This is a revolution. Yeah. We are yeah. tired. We are tired. We are not letting up. We will not let this pass. So choose your side and stick to it. We've been oppressed our entire existence on this land. You really think we care if someone supports us or not anymore? There was a time where no one supported us, treated us like animals, like properties, a corrupt, a corrupt system, the oppressors, the years of slavery, segregation, mistreatment, lynching, being falsely accused, being falsely convicted, too many to name. Again, all lives matter when black lives matter. and white. Her sentiments are what so many are not only feeling but actually dealing with. Let's be very clear. We are witnessing a civil unrest in this country. We have to understand it. A man was murdered who happens. Can somebody hold this for me? Can you guys hear me? No. a constant in our country, in real time, visually, for the whole world to see. What ensured after came hurt, sadness, and utter pain. The eruption from the pain has now caused chaos. Finger point, pointing and judgment are now where we are. Yet the threat of us, of us even meeting today, some of us receive threats to our families, our homes, it's okay. and our lives. It's okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We, we have to focus on the real enemy, and that is racism. So to those who practice and bathe in racism, your water has been cut off, your invoice is due, and your lot will be sold and destroyed. America will not be the same again, because now we are louder, and we will fight against the injustices. We are not stopping. So to you, I say, kneel.